Meanwhile, the young residents of U.S. are dying at an alarming rate. The rates have seen a significant rise since 2020. But surprisingly, COVID-19 is not the reason behind this uptick. Rather, the social disruption caused by the lockdowns has more to do with this. As per an analysis of the federal death rates, the overall mortality rate for ages 1 to 19 rose by 20% in just three years, that is since the pandemic was first announced. It was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. This year in March, these rates have reversed the trend of falling death rates, which were driven by an advancement in healthcare and safety. The factors behind the spike include rising anxiety and depression and also greater access to firearms, which is a contentious issue in the United States of America. The other factors include dangerous driving and drugs abuse. Meanwhile, as per the data, COVID-19 accounted for just one-tenth of the rise in mortality among the young people in 2020 and one-fifth of it in 2021. Coming to the worst part, experts say that the end of the pandemic is unlikely to reverse this uptick. They say these problems will persist as long as mental health issues and access to arms continues in the United States of America. Physicians and public health officials, at least some of them, are finally starting to admit that extreme isolation during the pandemic, like school closures and the canceling of group sport activities and face-to-face -face contact had dire consequences on the youth's mental health. Social media really fueled that crisis by replacing interaction with the desire to be liked online. And then there are some apps that continue to promote things like suicide and eating disorder. The rising mortality rate among U.S. children between the year 2019 and 2021 represented a profound crisis. And now new data shows that one in 25 American five-year-olds will not reach their 40th birthday. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.